Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best portable power. Starting at number 5. DJI Power 500. The DJI Power 500 is designed to be a versatile power source for drone pilots and creators on the go. It offers a mix of ports, fast charging, and a quiet operation, making it suitable for various outdoor activities, provided ruggedness is not a primary concern. Design and build quality. The Power 500 features a clean, black design with a plastic chassis and rubberized feet. While not rugged, it is lightweight and includes a well-designed handle for easy carrying. Performance, the device performs reliably, charging various devices efficiently. The LCD screen provides clear information on power levels and active ports. It remains quiet during operation and maintains battery capacity well over time. Features, key features include the SDC light port for DJI drones, a mix of USB and AC ports, and a fast charge option. The standard IEC socket and connector make charging convenient, and the handle design makes it portable for short distances. Coming at number 4. BioLite Base Charge 1500. The BioLite Base Charge 1500 and 600 look identical. The only differences are that the 1500 model has slightly more ports and a larger battery. Both models have the 10W wireless charger on the top, an energy odometer, and solar charging capability. The 1500 has 1521WH, and the 600 model has 633WH. BioLite not only has a great product, but it also provides energy to over 5 million people worldwide who rely on BioLite to power their homes. Design The BioLite Base Charge 1500 600 have two handles to help carry them from campsite to vehicle or storage to home turned campsite, thanks to the lack of power. All of the ports in and out of these power stations are on the front of the unit. Each bank of port types has a single button to enable power to those ports, except for the USB A and USB C ports. Performance, the BioLite Base Charge 1500 offers wall outlet performance anywhere. We can run multiple ports at a time and have a great range of ports that can be plugged in. The maximum output is 1200W, and a surge possibility of 2400W. The solar panels can charge the base charge in 4 hours if you use a maximum of 4 100W panels. At number 3. Renogy Phoenix 200. The Renogy Portable Power Station 200 is a small portable power station with 222WH battery capacity and an ultra-portable design. We can easily put this in a bag or the back seat of a car without any problems. There is no extra battery addition, but we're not shocked about a device this small. The Renogy Portable Power Station 200 is well-priced, works well, and has some quick charging options, which are helpful. Much like other portable power stations, there is a way to control which kind of power ports will receive power. For this model, we can control whether the AC or car slash SIG outlets work and the USB-A and USB-C ports stay operational. Design The power station features a unique design with a front panel shaped like a tall octagon, ensuring easy access to all the ports. The ports, including AC outlets, car slash cigarette lighter outlets, USB-A and USB-C ports, are conveniently located on the front of the device for effortless connectivity. Additionally, the top of the power station features an integrated handle, making it more convenient to carry around. Number 2 of my list. Anchor 767 Powerhouse. Anchor's Powerhouse 767 Portable Power Station is an impressive power station, to say the least. It thrives in the outdoors, though, in our mind. Yes, it could be used just around the house, but with the built-in wheels, RV outlet, and built-in light bar, this feels like a portable power station designed to be taken on fun adventures and put to the test. While we did not get them to test, we can get solar panels with this power station, as we see with many high-end models. Also, this power station can be controlled via the companion app. We can divert power to certain port types through the app, see the discharge or recharge status, and much more. Design, as mentioned, this massive portable power station has a few unique features worth noting. 
First, this power station has wheels and a retractable handle, much like a rolling suitcase. The wheels are rugged enough and large enough to go over some outdoor terrain, and the handle can hold well over the weight of the powerhouse 767. Next, this power station has an RV outlet. We've seen a lot of power stations, and not many have this outlet. So, if you have an RV and are looking for a power station, knowing that this could run your entire RV if needed is a huge gain. In fact, pro tip, if where you are staying does not have one, this could even act as an adapter. Lastly, this power station has a built-in, multi-brightness LED light bar to help illuminate whatever you are plugging in, your campsite, garage, or wherever you are. And number 1. EcoFlow Delta 2. The EcoFlow Delta 2 Max Portable Power Station is impressive. Not only is it a demanding power station due to its stature, but also because of just how well it works. It has the ability to charge nearly all appliances in a home in case of a power outage, it can run solely from 1000W max solar power input if desired, it can be expanded up to 6 kilowatt hours with additional batteries, and it even has an attachment to be a plug-and-play solution to take over as smart-controlled redundant backup in case of a power outage at your house. Usually, portable power stations have some cool features, but the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max seems to be in a race of its own, ahead of the pack with quite a few remarkable specs to find in a portable model. Design The overall design of this portable power station is fairly simple. Unlike what we normally see on power stations with the control panel and outlets on the widest side of the device, this power station uses the narrower side as the interface side, with the exact opposite side, the other narrow side being the place to plug in cables to add power to the bank and all the AC outlets are back there too. If you want to take advantage of the extra power banks, the ports for those connections live on the right side if you're looking at the control panel. On the left lives some vents to help circulate air. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.